office pie. Now I'm hungry. Now you're hungry. It's going to be uh, the most edible segment that we do here. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, my puns are always great. Um, okay, yeah. So I'll explain this one. So the box office pie. Uh, it'd be much better if we had a visual for you guys, but I'm going to try to explain as best I can. The box office pie is for 2025 blockbusters. It is basically a percentage of who I think will take the box office crown. Um, so, you know, if a movie has a percent, then it, I believe it has a chance. And I'll provide um, a little bit more context and rationale to what I think has a chance. If it's not mentioned, then I believe it has 0% chance. So if you don't see the movie that you want to win box office, I think it has literally 0% chance. Um, so... Yeah, that that's pretty much the main gist of it. And Nain is basically just going to argue or contest me if he thinks I'm wrong. But we know that I'm right. So he's not going to be saying anything in return, I don't think. He's going to be eating the pie. <laughs> right? Probably, probably, because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so three movies that have 0%. But I think they're worth mentioning because I think people will believe that they have a chance. And I don't think they have a chance at all. First one is Blade. Gone through production hell. I don't know what's going on with this movie. And I might do this box office pie again. I'm going to say that before I actually get started. I might do this box office pie again and things can have a chance. Once I see more stuff, see a trailer and whatnot. So we will have to see. But at this stage, yeah, this is where it stands. So Blade, 0%. It's not part of it. Not, not even on the pie. Doesn't get a slice at all. Yeah. Just, you know. I think it's pretty clear why, because one, the MCU quality decline and just the overall production, how this movie's gone through, it might be one of the most problematic MCU movies um, to get developed and put to the screen. Next one, surprise, Fantastic Four. Zero chance to win the worldwide box office. I don't think the casual movie going audience care about this movie at all. I don't think they even know what Fantastic Four is. Uh, Fantastic Four has never worked in a film. Um, and if it does, the MCU quality uh, reputation has already been damaged enough that it's not going to get to a billion or 1.5 billion. I don't even know if it'll make 900 million. I'm just being perfectly honest. Perhaps. And remember, this can change. The cast and then, like, who's directing this? It's, is it John Watts? He, did, he does the Spider-Man movies? I think so. Very average. I think so. Yeah. So I don't think it's going to be a great movie. I think it's going to be fine and serviceable. But yeah, I don't. See, I think it has zero percent chance. Another one that has zero percent chance. The surprise one. You're gonna be mad at what makes the pie, by the way. Um, Superman Legacy. DC is going through hell. It's the first one of the DCU. We cannot expect it to be a billion dollar movie. It's gonna start off things. I mean, Man of Steel. What that made like six hundred and something million. First one. One of the most iconic superheroes of, superhero movies of all time. Start of a franchise. It's the same as this one here. And, um, you know, perhaps 800 million if it gets good, but it's using quite unknown actors in terms of the big screen. I just don't see it. I don't even see it making a billion. It's, it's got to start somewhere. DC has had a major brand damage. If the Flash can't even get 300 million, Superman can't get a billion. Let's be real. So your definition. Let's be real. I just, he said it. He said the thing. Let's ignore James. So your definition of making the pie is if it makes a billion dollars? No, I'm just using it as a benchmark because there are some movies in here that will make a billion dollars. So what what is your justification for zero percent? Like 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 what zero percent means it has zero percent chance to be the box office king for twenty twenty five. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in terms of what you just said, yes, I agree. All three from definitely blade. But not, I, I know you're gonna. Be, I know you're gonna refer to Avatar. Yeah. But movies have a chance, and you're about to see there are seven movies I believe that have a chance, a sliver, a sliver. Okay. Yeah. I still think, yeah. No spoiler alert. Avatar is gonna be the king, no doubt. Absolutely no doubt. Mm -hmm. Um, Blade. I agree with you. Like, that's just gonna struggle to make budget, in my opinion. I mean, I think this is this version of. This is the MCU's version of New Mutants, you know, where it's just development <laughs> hell after hell. Yeah. I think Fantastic Four is going to surprise a lot of people, especially once the casting announcements come out. Yeah. And when um, trailers come out, I think 
you are underestimating the. So it deserves a slice, deserves a percentage or something. Deserves a percentage, maybe yeah. we'll, we'll say low, low ten percent, ten percent under. Okay. Same, same as Superman. I mean, yep. he is, uh, if not top two, definitely number three mm. yep. superhero of all time. Like his logo alone is the most iconic in the world, easily. Um, um, I reckon. Uh, Spider Man is just too much of a beast now. I don't think anyone stops Spider Man anymore. Yeah. But still, if you see yeah. that symbol, you know exactly who it is. And and they see it unless you're fresh out of the room. And they know what Spider Man is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like I, I think like it's James Gunn, like I know you have faith nope. in James Gunn. Yeah. Like it's yeah, it's, 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 yep. it's James Gunn. He he is credible, especially when it comes to the comic book market. Mm-hmm. He's done three Gallic games ga- uh games, films and Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad did get a little bit of hate, but that's mm-hmm. I think it's because people had a bad taste. For the 2016 version and COVID and as well. And a bomb too. Even, I know it released during COVID and day and date release, but even compared to other movies that had that same release model in that same time period, it did really bad. I think um, it's because of the name The Suicide Squad. Yeah, I think that, yeah. that's definitely part of it. Yeah. So I think with that behind him, I think he would deserve a percentage of this, of the thing. Obviously, he's not going to make it because... Yeah. Avatar, still in my opinion, spoiler yeah. alert. But it has a chance alert. is what you think. It has a chance. Yeah. I think those two forms yeah. definitely have mm. a slice of the pie, yeah. whether it's like a crumb or like the sauce or the gravy, Yeah. depending where you're from. If you're from this <laughs> Northern Hemisphere, it'll be the jam, whatever, because mm-hmm. we have um, meat pies down here and you guys have sweet pies up there. Oh, I can't wait for a sweet pie. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> God, I need to stop talking about this. I'm making myself really hungry. We can call it something else. Mm. But no, I like um, box pie. But yeah, I think yeah. I think Blade literally has no chance. Unless yeah. it is absolutely stunning. Mm-hmm. Turns like John Wick sort of esque yeah. um choreography. It would, it would have to be. Then yeah. I think mm-hmm. it'll be I think it'll be the biggest like surprise and the biggest turnaround for yeah. a film that's had so much production drama mm-hmm. ever. Yeah. Ever. hmm Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, for MCU standards, it's just had too much. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, but we're going to get onto the pie now. So some controversial ones are on the way. We've had some already. All right. So there's a tie for 1% of the pie. How to Train Your Dragon, the live action movie. I do believe there is a chance. Because it's live action, I feel like the movie is one of the few animated movies where it could even be better in the live action sense. I don't know if it is. I don't know. I don't know much about it. I know there's just some castings recently, but we've had Game of Thrones recently. Remember how massive that was? Worldwide appeal, um, broke records everywhere for viewership. If it can replicate something like that, I do believe there is a chance, but the chance is so small that it gets 1%. So. Um, don't think that I think that just know that I believe there may be a 1% chance that it does. Next one is Moana live action. Now this is one of the animated movies that I don't think, um, should can, yeah, should work, can work or will work. Um, but I think the casual audience will lap this up like nothing else. Um, just because it is, uh, Moana was very recent. And uh, The Rock is starring in the voice role that he did as well. So, yeah. And we know Disney are amazing at this stuff. L- look what The Lion King did. They nearly, they did like $1.6 billion. It did. Aladdin did a billion dollars. I mean, they're live action. Um, Based on nostalgia though. Like yeah. 20 years worth of nostalgia. No, I, not I, less than 10 years. I, I do believe recency can help it. And when you have The Rock there as well. I think I think I think it has a chance because it could it could just blow up like out of nowhere. If and, the rock wasn't in it, still same thoughts. I think it wouldn't have, wouldn't have a chance at that point. So I, th- I think the rock is a part of that. He makes okay. up zero point five percent <laughs> off that pie. So half the percent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with three percent, Fast X Part Two. Um, perhaps it's the last one in the series, um, allegedly. And I don't think it's going to make waves in the US market, but we know how worldwide audiences lap up this franchise like nothing else. Uh, Furious 7 did like 1.5. Uh, what is it? Fate of the Furious did like 1.2. If, you know, it's massive in the China market. It's bigger in China than it is in the States. So if the China market really lap up the cliffhanger to Fast X and then they come to this one, 
alongside you got The Rock in this one as well. Um, and you got Jason Momoa. You got everyone coming back for it. Um, I don't have faith that it will, but if there's a chance, I do believe there is a chance because you can't underestimate the Fast 6 franchise or the Fast franchise. All right. In fifth place, well, not fifth place, with 5% off the pie, Aladdin 2. The first one made over, it made nearly $1.1 billion. I mean, there's clearly a market for it. Nostalgia comes in again as well. Um, I think I'd have to see what Mufasa, the one next year, the Lion King one, because that's kind of like a sequel or a prequel. Prequel. Yeah, but it's still like a, a the next one on the, the live action Lion King universe. If that does like $1.5 billion, then Ellen definitely has a chance because these movies still make over a billion dollars. I think that's just nuts. Um, but Will Smith is meant to be returning, same cast and everything. If they can make it good, if they can capture, you know, nostalgia and actually make it better than what the second original Aladdin was, there's a chance. And it's 5% of a chance. Never underestimate Disney marketing or their movies. It's going to get really surprising for you. Um, 15% of the pie, The Batman Part 2. I know you're happy to hear this one. 15% though. Um, I know that the Batman first one is beloved. People love that movie. Um, there's people on Twitter that trigger me every time. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, but hey, some people are saying it's been the dark night and you put them in their place. I can see your replies <laughs> there. Uh, <laughs> that, that was funny to see. <laughs> no comment from them, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, fair enough because you are right. It's not been the dark night, but yeah, no, it just shows that people love this uh, franchise. If they can double down on the quality on, if it's how, on how good it is, I, I do believe it definitely stands a chance. I mean, it was nearly, nearly three hours long mm -hmm. and you know, it got 770 million, at the worldwide box office, I think as a starting point and you know, you can't deny the popularity of the Batman character. It's extremely second top two superhero movie or superhero like characters in terms of popularity so now that the first one's out of the way and people trust that that world that directing and that you know that version of batman i think more people are going to come back for the second one and i do believe it has a chance at taking the crown for the box office um now this one this one you're gonna, you're gonna lose your shit at 30 percent of the pie it's not avatar it's minecraft Hear me out for this one. It's Minecraft. 30%. It is the most popular video game of all time. And not by 10 million units, not by 20 million, 30 million units, but like 70 million units sold. It is the most popular video game of all time. We just saw what Myro did at the box office. I mean, I, I don't need, even need to say more. Jason Moore attached to it. It's uh, I know it's live action, so it could be weird. And and if I see more about it, and I, it looks weird, and people won't get it, then perhaps not. And it will massively drop down on the slice. But the popularity of Minecraft, it appeals to our generation that have played it as they grew up, and it appeals to the new generation that are playing it right now. So, I just what I saw from Super Mario, I do believe that video game movies. If done right, and if they're from a very extremely popular, um, you know, video game franchises, and the most by all time by far, I do believe it has a really strong chance. Now we're going to obviously going to get to the king, the one that's pretty hard to dispute, but with forty five percent Avatar three. Now it's not dominating the pie. Um, other movies they need to have a chance. And what do we always say about Avatar in terms of what's its main box office appeal? Visuals. Visuals. The new technology. This is only coming three years after the second one. So it's not going to have the same reliance on it. I know it covers fire or whatever, but are audience really going to come back for that? I do believe it will be the lowest one, the lowest avatar, that is. I don't know how big this is going to go. I need to see a lot more from it, but the fact that it doesn't dominate this pie is because of that factor. And if it, if it makes like $2.5 billion, then, then people just love the franchise. And you can't deny that anymore. It's not just the visuals anymore. But 
Other movies have a chance. What do you think about this? I need your phone to see what you put percentage wise. (laughs) What am I looking at? Start with the controversial Minecraft one. No, I work my way down from your one percent. I work in order. Let's not confuse the viewers here. Fair enough. Moana, I agree with. I think it's so fresh in people's minds, and it had like you know that breakout hit mm-hmm. song, yeah, and whatnot. And the rocks attached to it, I could see that easily. Rock and a wig, mm-hmm. oi, let's Rock go. <laughs> <laughs> How to Train Your Dragon? I think that could, I think that's on the fence, really. I think that's on the you know whether it gets that knife cut or if it's one of those crumbs that just falls off. It's got a one percent. You think like a zero point one? Yeah, no, I I think that could be a hit or miss. I, th- mm. I depending on how they do the visuals and yeah, stuff. I would need to see that to get a good glimpse at it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But I, I I do I I'll back your justification in regards to Moana just because it's just so fresh and yeah. it was hugely popular when it when it first came out based on the song and yeah. we obviously had the rock now acting in it as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, Aladdin two. Um. Oh, sorry. Fast X Part 2. I don't know. I think... I think Moana could... I think Moana and Fast X should swap. Really? Because Fast X got 700. Yeah, but if you think about it, um, Fast X, it died very quickly before it went on to streaming. Yeah. Um, part 2, I think, you know, it's just there. Are people done with the franchise? I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- that sort of thing. I, I don't... Like obviously people are gonna go see it, but I don't think they'll go rewatch it and rewatch it and rewatch it. Right. I think we'll just have a massive opening weekend and then those people that don't have time, they'll just go see it whenever they want. Mm-hmm. Um because, you know, just should have ended at fast seven. Yeah. Uh Aladdin two, if it's based on Return of the Jafar, I don't no. it's not. No, I don't know if it will, but I I I huh. I'm pretty sound in my thinking of that it won't be. I think because it was not good, right? In, I'm your, gonna, I, in your opinion, I, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna. Be, I'm gonna base what I'm about to say based on that. Ever oh, that um, I, I, Aladdin two is. Based I think on it'll that. be its own thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, I have two opinions here. Then I, then I guess. <laughs> uh, let's just go with that. It's based on Return of Jafar. Return of Jafar was not as good as the first one. The first one, the nostalgia obviously carried it to that billion dollar hype. Yeah. If it's Return of Jafar, mm-hmm. it's not even gonna reach that. Not even close for sure. There's something new. Depends on what something new is. Um, yeah. I still don't think I'll reach that billion dollar height as because it's the nostalgia that is what carried Aladdin to that height. So no slice of the pie for it. <sighs> it's hard to, right now without seeing or hearing anything. I don't think it has a slice. Oh, I, th- I don't. I don't think it should yeah. have a slice right now. Mm-hmm. I think Fantastic Four Superman should have a slice over Aladdin too. Fair enough. But because we don't know what. Aladdin 2 is based on yep. or what direction they're going on. Mm-hmm. I think it's very really hard. Like, I don't even think Mufasa should have a slice. If you did a 2024 version, I don't think you should have a... Oh, because, because 2024 it, version. That's in the, that's in the book. Like, all right. Catch, catch you guys two weeks time for that. <laughs> don't worry, I'll have a pie with me this time. <laughs> Batman Part 2, I agree with that. Yeah. I think we'll have 15% of the time, uh, percent of the pie. Mm. I th- I, if it's, yep. yeah, If it's anything as good, Mm-hmm. As the Batman, I think we'll beat it. Yeah. As in the first one, mm-hmm. domestic wise, or and not so not worldwide wise, box box office wise. Yeah. But I think that's a respectable number. Minecraft, I can see where you're coming from. Like most popular popular video game for all time, but then that's the key word: video game, and video game. I'm just vi- saying, we saw what Super yeah. Mario did, and it's not popular as Minecraft. It is, and but it's it, not good. But it's still very nostalgic to people. Yeah. So is Minecraft. Not as much as. Been around since the early 2000s. Yeah, but 2008, I think. But not, Mario, not 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 to the extent of Mario, of course. Is Minecraft just one game? Like it doesn't have any spin-offs, like Minecraft racing or there's like Minecraft stories and main character stuff. There is a lot of Minecraft stuff out there. Yeah. Like it's insanely popular. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I just anything video game based, I'm just always on the fence with. Yeah. Um yeah, just it's it's really Anything video game based, it's like something that you just need to wait and see, and then you can make a judgment. Like with Last of Us, obviously that property, everyone's going to say, yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. It, it was, because as soon as that first trailer dropped off, boom, it was fantastic. God of War, I'm going to say right now, mm-hmm. we haven't heard, there's no casting for anything. I think yeah. it's going to be fantastic. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but as soon as the you know we get our first look, yeah. I, I can definitely make my mind, and I can tell you now if it's going to be shit or not. But um, remember, Super Mario Bros, which has one point three four billion, that's rotten, and it made it that is. money. Yeah, I guess nostalgia has that. Yeah, and it's not just nostalgia; it's just the fact that millions of people play it now. Yeah, yeah, the Mario has the nostalgia, but it doesn't have the modern relevancy that Minecraft does. What's the age for Minecraft? What's the what? What's the age for Minecraft? What do you mean the age? As in like people that will go to see this. It would definitely be the younger generations, our generation, the generation below us. Okay. Um, especially the generation below us. And if it's the generation below us, they have to take their parents. So that's a family film then. Um, but it's it's a live action Minecraft. I have no idea how it can work. And yeah. I think it's going to be garbage because yeah. of the way it sounds. And it's filming in New Zealand. It's got Jason Momoa in it. But purely based on what I saw Super Mario do, I mean, the yeah. potential is very high for it in terms of box office. Like I said, I don't disagree with you. It's just yeah. the back of my mind, it's, it's that video game curse, you know, that, that mm. sort of you're like, has me back in you 100%. Do, do you think it's going away though? Like, I know this is I, I think, a, I th- I think away it from is. the pie. Yeah, yeah, but... yeah I think it is. Uh, Super Mario Bros. definitely. Last mm-hmm. of Us has definitely put that to bed. If yeah. God of War is a hit, then we can see like that rise of. I mean, even stuff. Sonic. E- e- so, yes, yeah, so- Sonic. They're and, not doing well, but it's like, it's they, they're all right. Yeah, and, and Dungeons and Dragons, that's based well. on a game, so to yeah, speak. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's a board game. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, I think the trend is slowly starting to break, but... They're figuring it out. Yeah, but I, I, I think there's always that bad taste, you know, like just because video yeah. game movies mm. have always had that yeah. you know, thing. I know um, that, but I just saw Mario release a bad movie and make a ton of money that it didn't deserve to make. Minecraft, I think, could make $1.8 billion. $1.8? Mm-hmm. Oh. There if, you go. if it's watchable. If it's if it's if it's really bad, because I think Mario it was like it was like max is around the fifty percent mark, which is like you know either or you, you love it or you hate it. But if it's like you know twenty percent, or if it's truly bad, then obviously not. Yeah. But the potential I think is up there. Yeah. If it's a great movie and it's a Minecraft movie, I, is two billion out of the question? Truly, if it's a great movie and Minecraft. I think I'm gonna hit. I don't think I'll hit two billion. I think I'll come very close. Yeah. Similar to No Way Home. Yeah, yeah. I, I think there is potential in that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> moving away from Minecraft now. Um, <laughs> Avatar, funny. I think that's just, it's just a given, you know, like. Yeah. Like, re- yeah. regardless of whether yeah. the visuals reinvent anything or not, the visuals are still going to be better than anything we'll see from now till then. Yeah. Guaranteed, like. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> it, it, it is Avatar. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah enough said. It's pretty I, indisputable. Yeah, I think there's a podcast when I said that Avatar, if when it comes to Oscars, like if you're up against Avatar, you're going to lose. Yeah. Yeah. For best visual effects. Absolutely. And same could be said for this um, when it comes to box office. I don't even think like Avengers Endgame could potentially have a hold, like something esque of that level. Yeah. And I don't think we'll ever get uh, something as big comic book wise from mm. Avengers Endgame because they had 10 years and now we're getting to like three, four years. I don't think they can build anything up. Yeah. So no, I yeah. agree. I think Avatar, yeah. every time you see Avatar on a year schedule, it's yeah. it to be number one, two billion. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Minecraft takes the best visual effects, but Avatar. No, has because, box no, because what it's going to be, is going to be like a little block thing and it's going to be dressed more as face like how it was on MODOK for <laughs> Ant-Man Quantumania. <laughs> Nah, it's just going to be him walking in the New Zealand landscapes. New Zealand hills. <laughs> be like, my <"Mom>, man! <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe we should do a best picture pie sometime. We'll just do pies for everything from now on. No, because then like, it makes me hungry. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll support it with real food. We'll have real food in our area. I'll just buy like 10 pies per podcast. and You have one, we'll have the rest? No, we'll divide it by slices. <laughs> Yeah. Like, Since you're excited yeah. for the Batman part two, you get 15% off the pie. As in one pie or, or 10 pies? No, no, the one pie, the box office pie. And since Avatar 3 is my baby, I get 45% off that pie. I think that, that sounds good. Sounds fair to me. 
I can hear your stomach growling from here. <laughs> he's truly hungry. We're going to move on from the box office pie because his stomach is not liking this. Um, he's about a meter and a half away from me and I can hear the stomach going off. Um, so yeah, no more pies. 